a warm welcome to the fourth film in our Construction Details series. In it, we consider the individual details shown in 1 to 5 scale drawings. In the first film in this series, we explained that 1 to 5 scale detail drawings show that a construction system is closed, that there are no gaps or holes in the layers that encase a building. This starts with the load-bearing structure. The various components that it comprises must be joined in a force fit even if they are made of different materials. There can be no breaks in the thermal insulation layer that might lead to uncontrolled cooling of the fabric of the building and, in the worst case scenario, to the formation of condensation. One to five scale detail drawings can be used to identify weak spots where insulating layers are thinner. These weak spots can then be addressed by using higher specification insulating materials. Water bearing layers, such as sarking and waterproof membranes, must also be uninterrupted to ensure that the building shell is watertight. One to five scale detail drawings are also used to represent overlapping joints in waterproof membranes that consist of several sheets laid in different sections of a building. The outer layer of a building shell is also referred to as the weather layer. The only way to exclude the possibility of uncontrolled damp penetration into the layers beneath it is to ensure that it contains no gaps or breaks. The transitions between the various horizontal and vertical points that are exposed to the elements are particularly important. One to five scale drawings show how individual components are fixed together. These can be surface-to-surface -surface fixings, as where two damp-proof membranes are bonded together, for example, or linear fixings like the brackets used to brace a facing skin and are shown by a combination of drawing and labelling. As we have already seen, penetrating fixings, including screws and ties, are shown axially by means of a dashed line. Detailed drawings must also show whether and how certain layers are rear-ventilated and the location of the corresponding ventilation holes in the building. Here we can see how an open butt joint in the facing skin that functions as an upper ventilation opening is indicated. Another important feature that must be included in 1-5 to five scale drawings is the connecting joints between different components and how these connections are made. They may take the form of gaps designed to compensate for tolerances, for example, or closed, permanently elastic expansion joints. Different hatching patterns on component layers that serve the same purpose signal a change in material and material characteristics. They may illustrate a change from masonry to reinforced concrete in the load-bearing structure, for example, or the transition from mineral wood insulation behind a facing skin to a pressure-resistant polystyrene foam insulation on a flat roof, as illustrated here. Summary. One to five scale detail drawings show that a construction system is closed. There can be no gaps or holes in the load-bearing structure, the insulating and water-bearing layers, or in the weather layer. Detailed drawings should also show how individual components are fixed together, whether and how certain layers are rear-ventilated, and the location of the corresponding ventilation holes. They must also show the connecting joints between different components and how they are made. Our Construction Details series continues with film number 5. In it, we explain why and how a distinction is made between the works to be carried out on site by different trades.